Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I am going to explain you one very interesting example based on Booth's algorithm. Booth's algorithm explains you how we can have multiplication of two digits. And see this algorithm explains you how exactly computer does multiplication, right? And my dear students, before you understand Booth's algorithm, it is very essential you should understand at least one example. The reason is once you practice one example, making of that algorithm along with circuit will be very easy for you. So let me explain you one very simple example step by step how exactly multiplication is being done using Booth's algorithm. So if you observe here problem statement that is to multiply 5 into minus 6. Obviously we know that is minus 30. But we need to understand how exactly computer does this multiplication step by step. Right. So here to multiply 5 and minus 6, let us say here we are having multiplier that is 5. Now along with sign, I need to represent this. In digital plus 5 will be, in digital plus 5 will be 0. That is what? Sign of this plus 5 and 5 is value. So 1, 0, 1. So plus 5 that I need to represent by 4 bits. Right. And this is multiplicand. So multiplicand is minus 6. Right. So to represent minus 6, first I'll be representing plus 6. So plus is having sign 0 and then value 6 that is as per 1, 1, 0. Now to have minus 6, what we need to do? We need to do 2's complement of this. So to have 2's complement, we need to see data from this direction, right? And we need to copy the data as it is till you have first one. So you see first I am writing 0 as it is and then I am writing 1. So I am copying data till first one right. Now after first one whatever data is there that I need to complement over here. So this 1 now that will become 0 and this 0 that will become 1 that is 2's complement of this which is negative data. So remember my dear students in computer negative data that is represented by 2's complement. Right. And this is the shortest way by which we can easily calculate 2's complement. So now we have multiplier and multiplicand. Now here you see here I have mentioned table over here. Right. So in this table here what I will be doing is I will be mentioning operation. Right. Here accumulator that I have written. See how we multiply over here is we will be multiplying based on accumulation so initially accumulator will be always zero right so let me mention that initially accumulator that will be zero and here you see we are having two digits and that we are representing by how many bits four bits so four zeros that i'm writing over here now multiplier is there that is q so this plus five that is my multiplier that is having how many bits four bits so what i'll be doing is I'll be mentioning those four bits as per Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3 over here. And that multiplier initial value is 0, 1, 0, 1 as per this plus 5, right? So let me mention that 0, 1, 0, 1. And this Q minus 1, initially you need to consider that as 0. And when you write this multiplicand, so at that time you need to mention both of this data. You see multiplicand is minus 6. So if I write m, then m is minus 6 that is 1 0 1 0. So let me mention that 1 0 1 0. And let me mention minus m as well. So when I write minus m, so minus m is plus 6. You see m multiplicand that is minus 6. So that is 1 0 1 0. So what will be the value of minus m? Plus 6. So that has to be 0 1 1 0. So this is how initially you just need to mention the data. Now very essential thing that you need to note down that is operation and based on operation only steps that you need to follow. So first of all question is how many steps that we need to execute here. So that is there based on how many bits that is there with multiplier and multiplicand. So you see multiplier and multiplicand both are having four bits. So how many steps that you need to execute four steps. Right. Means four times you will have to repeat the step. Now what is that step? So step is there based on Q0 and Q-1. 
सो यू विल हैव टू फोकस दिस टू बिट्स Q0 जीरो एंड क्यू माइनस वन दिस टू बिट्स दैट यू नीड टू फोकस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू विल हैव टू मैंशन क्यू जीरो एंड क्यू माइनस वन यू सी दैट इज वन जीरो ओवर हियर राइट दैट इज वन जीरो ओवर हियर नाउ नोट डाउन दिस पॉइंट वेन एवर क्यू जीरो एंड क्यू वन दैट इज वन जीरो एट द टाइम यू विल बी परफॉर्मिंग सबट्रैक्ट एम सो हियर वॉट यू विल बी डूइंग सबट्रैक्ट एम right now i'll just mention this you will be observing how to do that but note down this whenever q0 and q minus 1 that is 10 at the time you will be performing what subtract m as if q0 q minus 1 that is 01 at the time you will be performing add m and as if q0 and q minus 1 that is 00 or 11 then you don't need to perform any arithmetic operation right remember If q zero q minus one that is one zero, then perform subtract m first. If it is one zero one, then add m. And if it is zero zero or one one, then do not do any arithmetic operation. After that, you will have to perform right shift operation. After this, right shift operation. This right shift operation that is compulsory. Right, add m or subtract m. That is there based on value of q zero q minus one. If it is one zero, subtract m. Right now, how to do subtract m? Subtract m means you will have to add minus m. So that's why I have mentioned m and minus m over here. Right now, where we need to perform this arithmetic operation? So subtract m means minus m. That is zero one one zero. That I need to add over here. Zero one one zero. Subtract m means add minus m with accumulator. Right. So let us add this zero plus zero zero. Zero plus one, one. Zero plus one, one. Zero plus zero, zero. That is how subtract m that we do. Now shift right operation that we need to do. So how to do shift right operation? So see, first you'll have to copy first bit as it is, right? So this zero that I need to mention as it is. Now all these bits that I need to shift towards right side, and this. Data that I need to copy over here. So you see, zero one zero one. Let me copy it over here. Zero one zero one. Now shift all these bits towards right side by one bit. So this zero will come here. This one will come here. This one will come here. This zero will come here. This zero will come here. This one will come here. This zero will come here. And this one that will come to Q minus one position. So that is how you'll have to repeat these steps. Now let us have next step. Right. So how many times we need to perform these steps? Four times as multiplier and multiplicand that is having four bits, right? So now you see we need to observe Q zero and Q minus one. So Q zero and Q minus one. I have already told you, my dear students, if it is zero one, what we need to do? If it is zero one, we need to add m. After that, we will be performing right shift operation, right? If it is one zero, subtract m. If it is zero one. Add m. If it is one one or zero zero, then you don't need to do add or subtract, right? And right shift that is compulsory. So now, my dear students, add m means what? M is one zero one zero, right? Minus six is one zero one zero. So one zero one zero that I need to add over here with accumulator. So accumulator is this. Now one plus zero that is one. One plus one that is zero. Carry one. One plus zero plus zero that is one. Zero plus one that is one. That is how we perform addition operation, right? Now this multiplier that I need to copy over here. So zero zero then one zero. Now shift right operation. So first bit that I need to write as it is. Then you need to shift all these bits by one location. So this one will come here. This one will come here. This zero will come here. This one will come here. This zero will come here. This zero will come here. This one will come here, and this zero that will come here. Now again, we need to repeat these steps, right? So now you see, what I'll be doing is I'll be observing these two bits. That is Q zero and Q minus one. Let me mention that Q zero, Q minus one. What is the value? One zero. If it is one zero, what we need to do? We need to perform subtract time operation. After that, I need to have right shift. Right now, I will do this fast. So subtract m means what? Minus m that I need to add zero one one zero. So 
zero one one zero that I need to add it with accumulator. So zero plus zero zero one plus one zero carry one one plus one plus one one carry one one plus one zero and you, now you don't need to have further digits over here right you just need to ignore that whatever is happening at carry with this msb right and you just need to take this as it is over here so one zero zero one after subtract m what you need to do you will have to do right shift right so right shift is having first bit that is as it is so this zero will come here now you just need to shift all these digits by one bit so this zero this one this zero this zero this one this zero this zero this one will come here now i need to repeat this how many times four times as four bits multiplication that we are performing so three times we have done this so last time i need to have this so i need to check for q0 and q minus one right so this q0 q minus one that is zero one means I need to add m if it is 1 0 I need to subtract m if it is 0 1 then I need to add m now add m means m is 1 0 1 0 so I need to add 1 0 1 0 now let us add this 0 plus 0 0 1 plus 1 0 carry 1 1 plus 0 plus 0 1 0 plus 1 1 right you just need to write this data as it is over here 0 1 0 1 now shift right operation right so now i need to perform right shift operation over here so first bit that is as it is then this one will come here this one will come here this zero will come here this zero will come here this zero this one this zero and this zero will come here now four times we have done this step Right, so you can say now you are having your answer. Now, what is your answer, my dear students? Your answer is this accumulator and Q. Right, so your answer that is this accumulator and Q. So that is one 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 zero, then zero zero one zero. That is what your answer. Now, what is this? So this is signed data. Remember this. So first bit that explains you what is the sign. So one means, one means sign is negative, right? So I can say this is negative data. Now once you have negative data, how you will be having value? To have value, you will have to take two's complement. So here you see what is two's complement of this? So you'll have to copy the data till first one from this direction. So you see I'm copying this, this zero and this first one. After first one, what you need to do? You'll have to complement these digits. So triple zero, now that will become triple one. And this triple one, that will become triple zero. So this is the value. Now, how to identify this value quickly? So for that, you see, this is one, this is two, this is four, this is eight, then this is 16. Now I'm not writing further. Why the reason is these are zeros. Now I need to add this. So you see 16 plus eight, 24 plus four, 28 plus two, 30 so minus 30 that is what this multiplication right now you see what we were been multiplying as per this method 5 into minus 6 that is minus 30 so this is how booth's algorithm is functioning so here my dear students you just need to repeat this step how many times number of bits times so here four bits multiplication that we are performing so four times you will have to repeat the steps which step you'll have to see q0 and q minus 1 if it is 1 0 subtract m if it is 0 1 add m if it is 0 0 or 1 1 you don't need to perform add or subtract operation and right shift that is compulsory step that is how you just need to repeat these steps and then you will be getting your answer which will be multiplication right I'll be solving one more problem. After that, I'll explain you how we can have algorithm of this boots algorithm in terms of flowchart and in terms of circuit. So you just stay tuned with this playlist of computer architecture and organization. Definitely, you'll be getting many things over here. I hope it is clear to you still. Anything that you would like to share it with me, please note it down over here. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.